Hi, in this session we discuss about the Galva group for irreducible qubit degree polynomials. So the theorem states that if fx is an irreducible qubit degree polynomial over a field of characteristic 0 and if k is the splitting field of fx then Galva group of k over f is either isomorphic to a3 or isomorphic to s3. That means that if fx is a cubic degree irreducible polynomial over a characteristic zero field, then the Galva group of fx is either a3 or s3. So let the cubic degree irreducible polynomial be fx is equal to x cube minus a1 h x square plus a2 x minus a3. And so let uh, k be the splitting field of fx or f. So because fx is a uh, degree 3 polynomial, it has three roots. Let the roots of fx be alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. Then the splitting field of fx is the smallest field generated by the roots of fx. That means k will be f of alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. Because the splitting field of k of fx having only three roots of fx and each automorphism of Galva group of k or f permute these three roots in the splitting field. Therefore, we can view Galva group of k or f as a subgroup of S3. Over k, because k is the splitting field of fx, over k, fx can be written as fx is equal to x minus alpha 1, x minus alpha 2 into x minus alpha 3. But you know that fx is equal to x cube minus a1 x cube plus a2 x minus a3. So comparing the coefficients on this expansion and the uh, definition of fx, this one, we get a1 is equal to a alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 a2 is equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 plus alpha 1 alpha 3 plus alpha 2 alpha 3 and a3 is equal to alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3. So because a1 is in f and a1 is alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha 3 we can write alpha 3 is equal to a1 minus alpha 1 minus alpha 2. So alpha 3 is an f of alpha 1 alpha 2. But k is equal to what f of alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and alpha 3 is in f of alpha 1 alpha 2 therefore k will become f of alpha 1 alpha 2 and we have a chain of uh, subfields f contained in f of alpha 1 contained in k that is f of alpha 1 alpha 2. Because fx is irreducible over f, fx is the minimal polynomial of alpha 1 because alpha 1 is the root of fx and fx is irreducible. Therefore, the degree of extension f of alpha 1 over f is equal to 3 because the degree is same as the degree of the minimal polynomial of alpha 1, so it is equal to 3. Also, over f of alpha 1, fx, we can write it as x minus alpha 1 into qx, where qx is actually the quadratic polynomial over f of alpha 1. And what are its roots? Its roots are alpha, 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. If qx is irreducible, qx is the minimal polynomial of alpha 2 over f of alpha 1. Therefore, the degree of the extension k over f of alpha 1 is same as the degree of the minimal polynomial of alpha 2, which degree is 2. Therefore, the degree of the extension k over f of alpha 1 is equal to 2. But degree of extension k over f is equal to degree of extension k over f of alpha 1 into degree of extension f of alpha 1 into of f. But degree of extension k of k over f of alpha 1 is 2 and f of alpha 1 over f has degree 3 therefore degree of extension k over f is equal to 6. If q of x is reducible over f of alpha 1 then the roots of q x is what? Alpha 2 and alpha 3 they will be also belongs to f of alpha 1. Therefore, f of alpha 1 will become the splitting field of fx or k is equal to f of alpha 1. Therefore, the degree of extension k over f is same as degree of extension 
f of alpha 1 over f and that is equal to 3. Therefore, if qx is irreducible, the degree of extension k over f is 6 and if q of x is reducible, the degree of extension k over f is 3. Since f x is irreducible over a characteristic is 0 field, f x is separable. Therefore, k is the splitting field of a separable polynomial. Therefore, by the characterization of Galois extension, k over f is a Galois extension. And the order of the Galois group k over f is same as the degree of the extension k over f. And we have seen that that degree of extension can be either 3 or 6. But if we have viewed Galois group of k over f as a subgroup of S3 and as ordered 3 or 6, therefore Galois group of k over f is isomorphic to either A3 or Galois group of k over f is isomorphic to S3. Now we will find the condition on fx for which the Galois group is A3 or when it will become A3 and when will become a S3. What are the conditions on fx? So for that we use, I mean it is maybe difficult to find the roots of roots alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. If we can find alpha 1, alpha, either, either 1 of alpha 1 or alpha 2 or alpha 3, we can find q of x and we can check whether that one is reducible or irreducible over f. Then we can decide whether the group is, the Galois group of f x is either a3 or s3. But it is difficult to find alpha 1. So, we will find a different terminology that's called as the discriminant of f of x that we denoted as d and which is equal to delta square where delta is equal to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into alpha 1 minus alpha 3 into alpha 2 minus alpha 3. Definitely that one is in k because k contains alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. But fx is separable, so all its roots are distant, therefore uh, delta never be equal to 0. So using uh, some computation, after some com computation we can get d is equal to delta square is equal to 18 a1 a2 a3 plus a1 square a2 square minus 4 a2 cube minus 4 a1 cube a3 minus 27 a3 square. And this is a polynomial on a1, a2, a3 and they are the coefficients of f of x and those coefficients are in f therefore d must be is in f. But it is not necessary that a delta is in f because delta square is in f. If delta is not in f then delta has degree 2 or f because delta square is equal to d and we have seen that d is in f. So since d delta is not in f of alpha 1 because delta is in terms of alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 and so it does not belong to f of alpha 1, the degree of extension f of alpha 1 delta over f of alpha 1 will be 2. So therefore degree of extension f of alpha 1 delta over f is same as degree of extension f of alpha 1 delta over f of alpha 1 into degree of extension f of alpha 1 over f that is same as 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. Therefore the degree of extension f of alpha 1 delta over f is 6 therefore k will be definitely f of alpha 1 delta. That means that the splitting field of f x is obtained by adjoining any one root of f of x and the square root of the discriminant of f x to f. Since Calva group of k over f is a subgroup of s3 and in this case we have seen that if delta is not in f, Galois group, the degree of the extension k over f is 6 and that is same as the order of the Galois group k over f. Therefore, Galois group of k over f is isomorphic to s3. And suppose if delta is no, is in f, then any automorphism sigma or in Galois group of k over f fixes delta because delta is in f. Every element of f is fixed by every sigma in Galois group of k over f. So because delta is equal to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into alpha 1 minus alpha 3 into alpha 2 into alpha 3, the sigma of delta, that means sigma permutes, permutes this alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3, therefore sigma of delta will be same as sine of sigma into delta. 
But we know that the sigma of x is delta. That means sigma of delta is equal to delta. Therefore, sine of sigma has to be equal to plus one. So that means that the sigma is an even permutation. Therefore, Galois group of K or F does not contain odd permutation. Therefore, Galois group of K or F is equal to A3. So we have seen that if delta is in F, the Galois group of K or F is A3, and if delta is not in F. we can see that the galois group of f of x is s3 so using this idea we can find the galois group of an irreducible polynomial without explicitly finding the roots of f of x that we will see later so what do we have observed is that if let us assume that f is equal to q and if we have seen that if delta is not in f Galois group of K or F is equal to S3, but delta can be anything. It can be positive or it can be negative. So if delta is positive, then all roots of F X are real. That means all three roots are distant and real. And if delta is less than zero, then root D is imaginary. Therefore, K is not a real field. Therefore, F X has one real and two imaginary roots. So any cubic Degree polynomial, irreducible polynomial with all distant real roots or only one real root and two imaginary roots. The Galois group of S, uh, group of F X is S three. So, for finding the Galois group of a cubic degree polynomial, we just have to find out the discriminant using the coefficients of f of x and check whether that Delta square is equal to d, where d is, delta square is a discriminant, and if delta is in q, then we can say that the Galois group of f of x is a3, and if delta is not in uh, q, then we can say that the Galois group of f x is s3. Let us see some examples. What is the Galois group of f x, which is equal to x cube minus two? So comparing x cube minus two with x cube minus a one x square plus a two x minus a three, we have a one is zero, and a two is also zero, and a three is equal to two. Therefore, the discriminant of f of x is del d is equal to delta square, which is equal to eighteen a one a two a three plus a one square a two square minus four a two cube minus four a one cube a three minus twenty seven a three square. Because a1 and a2 are zero, the first term is zero, second term is zero, third term is zero, fourth term is also zero. Only this one survives, the last two term, which is same as minus 27 and a3 is two. So minus 27 a2 square, that is, uh, this is three cube into two square, so minus three into six square. Therefore, delta is equal to six into root of minus three, and which is not in q, which is not a rational. Therefore, the Galois group of f of x is what? Is three. We can even find the splitting field of this f x because one of the roots we know, that which is same as the cube root of two, of x cube minus two. So then the galva, the splitting field of x cube minus two is same as because one one root we know we can find the splitting field of it. Otherwise we cannot find it. So since we know that one root of x cube minus two is cube root of two, and the other generator of the The splitting field is delta, and delta is six root of minus three. So, the splitting field of f x is q cube root of two six root of minus three. But six is in q, so you can write it as q cube root of two and root of minus three. So the splitting field of this one is. But earlier in the in the few sessions back, we have seen that the splitting field of x cube minus 2 is same as q of cube root of 2 omega cube root of 2 omega square cube root of 2 because the roots of x cube minus 2 are cube root of 2 omega cube root of 2 and omega square cube root of 2 where omega is the cube root of unity primitive cube root of unity and using the commutation we can find that omega is equal to minus 1 plus root of minus 3 by 2 so therefore this splitting field of uh, f of x that is x cube minus 2 is k is equal to q cube root of 2 and omega 
which is same as q cube root of 2 minus 1 plus root of minus 3 by 2 but minus 1 and 2 are in q so i can write it as q of cube root of 2 comma or root of minus 3 so this is the the, the splitting field of x cube minus 2 which we found it now in the both the ways we got the same splitting fields so here we found the splitting field because we know one of the root of x cube minus 2 otherwise it is difficult so let us see another example. What is the Galva group of the polynomial fx is equal to hq minus 4x plus 2? You can see that this polynomial is irreducible by existing criteria for t is equal to 2 because p divides 2, p divides 4, p does not divide 1 and p square does not divide 2. Therefore by existing criteria fx is equal to hq minus 4x plus 2 is irreducible over q. Now we will try to find the discriminant of this polynomial. So by comparing h q minus 4 x plus 2 with h q minus h a 1 x square plus a 2 x minus a 3 we have a 1 is 0, a 2 is minus 4 and a 3 is minus 2. So therefore the discriminant is delta square is equal to 18 a 1 a 2 a 3 plus a 1 square a 2 square minus 4 a 2 q minus 4 a 1 q a 3 minus 27 a 3 square. So which is same as because a 1 is equal to 0 this time is 0 this time is 0 only two term uh, this term is also 0, only 2 times serve as minus 4 a 2 is cube minus 2 27 a 3 square. So it is same as minus 4 into minus 4 cube minus 27 into minus 2 square which is same as 256 minus 108 which is equal to 148 which is equal to 37 into 2 square. Therefore, delta is equal to 2 cube root uh, square root of 37 which is not in q. Therefore, the Galois group of f of x is S3. So here you note that the discriminant is positive, therefore fx has all three are real roots. And the splitting field is k q of alpha square root of 37 where alpha is one of the root. So let us see another example. What is the Galois group of x cube minus 3x plus 1? So it is clearly irreducible by rational root test. That means if p by q is a root of this polynomial because it's a uh, cubic degree polynomial, if it is reducible, then it has a factor of degree 1. So it has a root in q. So if that root is r by s, then s divides 1 and r also divides 1. Therefore, the possible roots of fx are plus minus 1. But if I put 1 here, you will get f of 1 is not equal to 0 and f of minus 1 also not equal to 0, therefore there is no root in, uh, there is no rational roots, therefore fx is irreducible over q. So comparing this with uh, uh, hq minus 3h plus 1 with hq minus a1 hq plus a2 h minus a3, we get a1 is 0, a2 is minus 3 and a3 is minus 1. But the discriminant of f of x is delta square is equal to 18 a1 a2 a3, a1 square a2 square minus 4 a2 cube minus 4 a1 cube a3 minus 27 a3 square but a1 is 0 therefore 1 2 3 terms are gone only terms remaining is minus 4 a2 cube minus 27 a3 square which is same as minus 4 into minus 3 cube minus 27 into minus 1 square which is same as 108 minus 27 which is 81 so delta is equal to square root of d which is equal to plus minus 9 which is in q Therefore, the Galva group of fx is a3 because delta is in q. That's all. Thank you.